Continuing with the Eknath Shinde-led government's Hindutva politics push, the Maharashtra cabinet has decided to name the Varsova Bandra ceiling as Veer Savarkar Setu. And Chief Minister Shinde has made this announcement uh, uh, on uh, the 28th of May and had also said that the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link will be named after Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Now, both these names were cleared by the cabinet today. To get more details on this, we have Sohit uh, joining us. Sohit, Eknath Shinde's Hindutva politics on display as we can see those two names that were in fact suggested back in May have now got a nod. Uh, well, ahead of the elections that is going to happen next year, yes, the Hindutva politics or the Hindutva agenda and the push that the uh, Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister have been talking about can be clearly seen. Uh, as you rightly have been saying as well that yes, uh, now uh, while the Chief Minister had mentioned it earlier and announced that uh, the uh, Bandra Varsola Sea Link will be named after uh, Savarkar and at the same time he had also announced now that the uh, uh, set to be completed two, two things that the, uh, will be named uh, after Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So these are the two, two things that the uh, state government uh, cabinet has passed uh, uh, today. But what we all also can say that if you look at what has happened in the last few months, uh, a lot of changes have happened. For example, the latest was uh, renaming Ahmed Nagar to Ahilya Nagar. Before that, we saw uh, renaming Aurangabad to Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar and then uh, renaming uh, Usmanabad to Dhara Shiv. Uh, the Chief Minister has also announced that the coastal road which is also under construction in Mumbai will be named after Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj. So continuing with this trend, while uh, the Chief Minister had earlier announced that uh, the name of the Bandra Varsova ceiling will be kept after uh, Veer Savarkar, now that can be seen happening and the cabinet has passed uh, the resolution for the same. So yes, the announcements that were made by the Chief Minister is now being implemented as well and ahead of the upcoming crucial elections. Uh, and remember that uh, Ekna Shinde, when he did rebel against his own party, he said that he has been doing this to save Hindutva and they are here to do the Hindutva politics. So continuing with his Hindutva agenda and Hindutva push, what we can say is that a lot of renaming has been happening and the latest on that is that the cabinet has accepted the rename uh, renaming or uh, what we can say is that the name of uh, Bandra Varsova ceiling has been kept uh, uh, on the name of Savarkar and at the same time the MTHL bridge has been kept on the name of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, uh, the uh, 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 ex-Prime Minister of India. Right, so here's a trend that started in 1995 when Bombay was renamed Mumbai. We will keep tracking the story and keep coming back to you for more on that.